I remember one time we were in a crusade in a city of about 45,000 people. And for a period of two or three days, God just moved dramatically on that community. And I remember hearing the story of a salesman that was traveling to that city. He came to the city limit sign during the, that season of the movement of the Spirit of God. And he said when he reached the city limit sign, he was so under such intense conviction, he just pulled off to the side of the road and there for a period of 30 or 40 minutes just wept before the Lord, confessing his sin under the conviction of the Spirit of God. When he was finished meeting with God, he, he drove into the city and stopped at a gas station and he, and he talked to a lost gas station attendant. And he, and he asked him the question, is there something going on in this city? And that lost gas station attendant said, don't you know God is here? It was in that city that there was a president of a bank that was sitting on the second floor at his office, attended no services, no crusades, no great gatherings. He just fell under the conviction of God during those days, went out on the street to find somebody who could lead him to Christ. Someone showed him how he could know Christ personally. He invited Christ into his life as Master and Lord, and now years later he's serving the Lord faithfully in full-time ministry. The potential of revival, if the presence, the manifest presence of God were to come in our day, is beyond, I think, all of our, uh, our imaginations. I have not seen nor ear heard, neither hath entered into the heart of man the things the Lord hath prepared for them that steadfastly trust Him. Exercise faith for a move of God. I believe one of the essential ingredients for that kind of potential to become reality in our day is that God would give us a heart full of passion for revival.